Want to speak real Hindi from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hindipod101.com. Namaste and welcome to hindipod101.com. I'm Anuj Khurana and I'm back with yet another Hindi lesson for you all. So in today's lesson, we are going to learn 20 phrases which are must know if you are traveling. So let's begin. Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Do you speak English? Okay, so the another phrase is Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Which means Do you speak English? Kya Hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Okay, so another phrase is Kya Hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Another interesting phrase which you should know is Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamera hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Okay. Another phrase is Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamera hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Kya main apna kamera badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Another interesting phrase if you're not liking your room. So then it can be Kya main apna kamera badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Maine apna reservation karwaya tha. I did my reservations. Okay, so this is important and in today's world, you might need this a lot. Maine apna reservation karwaya tha. Maine apna reservation karwaya tha. I did my reservations. Kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai? Can I get the menu please? Another interesting one if you're visiting a restaurant. Kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai? Can I get the menu please? So this is the way of asking suggestions. Aapki rai mein sabse acha kya hai? Do you have any recommendations? Okay, so if you're looking for recommendations, then this is the phrase for you. Aapki rai mein sabse acha kya hai? Do you have any recommendations? Kya mujhe check mil sakta hai? Can I get a check please? Okay. Another phrase is Kya mujhe check mil sakta hai? Can I get a check please? Mujhe moongfali se allergy hai. I'm allergic to peanuts. So if you're allergic to anything, you can just use this phrase. Mujhe dash the thing which you're allergic to se allergy hai. For say if you, have, you are allergic to peanuts, then you can say it. Mujhe peanuts se allergy hai. Kripya paani de. Please give me some water. Another phrase is Kripya paani de. Please give me some water. Ye kitne ka hai? How much is it for? If you want to ask someone that how much it is for, then the phrase is Ye kitne ka hai? Ye kitne ka hai? How much is it for? Main ye das lena pasand karunga. I would like to have 10 of these. If you like something and you want that in numbers, then this is the phrase for you. Main ye das lena pasand karunga. I would like to have 10 of these. Ye mujhe pasand hai. I like it. If you like something, then this is the phrase. Ye mujhe pasand hai. I like it. Kya aap mujhe thodi chhoot de sakte hai? Can you give me some discount? Okay, so it happens a lot here in India. People give you discounts. So if you want to ask for that, Kya aap mujhe thodi chhoot de sakte hai? Can you give me some discount? 
learn this phrase, this will be helpful for you for your India visit. For sure. Kya mai credit card se bhuktaan kar sakta hu? Can I make the payments by using my credit card? Okay, if you want to just inquire that if you can make the payment using your credit card, then this is the phrase. Kya mai credit card se bhuktaan kar sakta hu? Can I make the payments by using my credit card? Railway station kaha hai? Where is the railway station? If you want to inquire about the railway station, then railway station kaha hai? Where is the railway station? Maaf karna kitna fair hai? Excuse me, what is the fair amount? Okay, if you want to inquire about the fair, then maaf karna kitna fair hai? Excuse me, what is the fair amount? Kya aap meri ek tasweer kheen sakte hai? Can you please take a picture of mine? Okay, so if you want to ask favor from someone that if they come and click your picture, then this is the phrase. Kya aap meri ek tasweer kheen sakte hai? Can you please take a picture of mine? So these were the phrases which will be definitely helpful for you if you are visiting India. I hope you learned these phrases and enjoyed this video. If you have any kind of suggestions, please leave your valuable comments or feedback in the comment section. And also like our channel which is HindiPod101. You can also visit our website which is HindiPod101.com and you can find many such videos over there. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with more videos. Till then stay tuned. Goodbye. Take care. Namaste. You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. Shahar ke dakshin ki taraf. You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Atmi Pankti, seat C. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Sarvajanik chutiyon har mahine ke tisre ravivar ko. 
You are at a bus terminal where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. 301 number bus yahan nahi rukti. You just got off a bus at a bus terminal and you're looking to catch a taxi. Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? You should head east to get to the taxi rank. Poor. Namaste and welcome to HindiPod101.com. I'm Anuj Khurana and I'm back with yet another Hindi lesson for you all. So in today's lesson, we are going to learn 20 phrases which are must know if you are traveling. So let's begin. Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Do you speak English? Okay, so the another phrase is Kya aap Angrezi bolte hai, which means, do you speak English? Kya Hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Okay, so another phrase is, Kya Hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Kya Wi Fi moved hai? Is Wi Fi free here? Another interesting phrase which you should know is Kya Wi Fi moved hai? Is Wi Fi free here? Kya Wi Fi moved hai? Is Wi Fi free here? Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Okay. Another phrase is Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Kya main apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Another interesting phrase if you're not liking your room. So then it can be Kya main apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Maine apna reservation karwaya tha. I did my reservations okay so this is important and in today's world you might need this a lot maine apna reservation karwaya tha maine apna reservation karwaya tha i did my reservations kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai can i get the menu please another interesting one if you're visiting a restaurant kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai can I get the menu, please? So, this is the way of asking suggestions. Aapki rai mein sabse acha kya hai? Do you have any recommendations? Okay, so if you're looking for recommendations, then this is the phrase for you. Aapki rai mein sabse 
अच्छा क्या है डू यू हैव एनी रिकमेंडेशन क्या मुझे चेक मिल सकता है कैन आई गेट चेक प्लीज ओके अनदर फ्रेज इज क्या मुझे चेक मिल सकता है कैन आई गेट चेक प्लीज मुझे मूंगफली से एलर्जी है आई एम एलर्जिक टू पी नट्स सो इफ यू एलर्जिक टू एनी थिंग यू कैन जस्ट यूज दिस फ्रेज मुझे डैश द थिंग विच यू एलर्जिक टू से एलर्जी है फॉर से यू आर एलर्जिक टू पी नट्स देन यू कैन से इट मुझे पीनट से एलर्जी है कृपया पानी दें प्लीज गिव मी सम वॉटर अनदर फ्रेज इज कृपया पानी दें प्लीज गिव मी सम वॉटर यह कितने का है हाउ मच इज इट फोर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क समन दैट हाउ मच इट इज फोर देन द फ्रेज इज ये कितने का है ये कितने का है हाउ मच इज इट फोर मैं ये दस लेना पसंद करूंगा आई वुड लाइक टू हैव टेन ऑफ दीज इफ यू लाइक समथिंग एंड यू वॉन्ट दैट इन नंबर फ्रेज फॉर यू मैं ये दस लेना पसंद करूंगा आई वुड लाइक टू हैव टेन ऑफ दीज यह मुझे पसंद है आई लाइक इट इफ यू लाइक समथिंग देन दिस इज द फ्रेज यह मुझे पसंद है आई लाइक इट क्या आप मुझे थोड़ी छूट दे सकते हैं can you give me some discount okay so it happens a lot here in india people give you discounts so if you want to ask for that kya aap mujhe thodi chhoot de sakte hain can you give me some discount learn this phrase this will be helpful for you for your india visit for sure kya main credit card se bhugtan kar sakta hu can i make the payments by using my credit card Okay, if you want to just inquire that if you can make the payment using your credit card, then this is the phrase. क्या मैं क्रेडिट कार्ड से भुगतान कर सकता हूँ? Can I make the payments by using my credit card? Railway station कहाँ है? Where is the railway station? If you want to inquire about the railway station, then railway station कहाँ है? Where is the railway station? माफ करना कितना fair है? Excuse me, what is the fair amount? Okay, if you want to inquire about the fair, then माफ करना कितना fair है? Excuse me, what is the fair amount? क्या आप मेरी एक तस्वीर खींच सकते हैं? Can you please take a picture of mine? Okay, so if you want to ask favor from someone that if they come and click your picture, then this is the phrase. क्या आप मेरी एक तस्वीर खींच सकते हैं कैन यू प्लीज टेक अ पिक्चर ऑफ माई सो दीज वर द्रेजेस विच विल बी डेफिनेटली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इफ यू आर विजिटिंग इंडिया आई होप यू लर्न दीज फ्रेजेस एंड एंजॉय दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ सजेशन प्लीज लीव योर वेल्यूएबल कमेंट्स और फीडबैक इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो लाइक आर चैनल विच इज हिंदी पॉट वन वन यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट आर वेबसाइट विच इज हिंदी पॉट 101.com and you can find many such videos over there i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll be back with more videos till then stay tuned goodbye take care namaste greetings everyone welcome back to hindipod101.com the easiest smartest and quickest way to learn hindi online my name is anuj khurana and i'm back with yet another lesson to learn more new hindi words So today we are going to discuss twenty words you will need for the beach. So let's start. Our first word is "dhup ka chashma," sunglasses. "Dhup ka chashma," "dhup ka chashma," which means sunglasses. Ye mera naya dhup ka chashma hai. These are my new sunglasses. Samundra tat, beach. Moving on to the next word, which is samund tat. Samund tat, which means beach. मुझे समुद्र तट पर जाना बहुत पसंद है. I love going to the beach. Teraki, swimming. So our next word is teraki. Teraki, which means swimming. Teraki एक बहुत ही अच्छा व्यायाम है. 
स्विमिंग इज अ वेरी गुड एक्सरसाइज तैराकी स्विमिंग सूरज और सूर्य सन सूरज सूरज और सूर्य विच मीन्स सन हिंदू सूर्य भगवान की पूजा करते हैं हिंदू वर्शिप सन गॉड सूर्य और सूरज विच मीन्स सन तार का वृक्ष पाम ट्री नेक्स्ट वर्ड आर तार का वृक्ष तार का वृक्ष विच मीन्स पाम ट्रीज केरला में तार का वृक्ष एक आम दृश्य है पाम ट्रीज आर अ कॉमन साइट इन केरला तार का वृक्ष पाम ट्रीज सीप सीशल नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज सी सी विच मीन्स सीशल सजावट के लिए सीप को इकट्ठा किया जाता है सीशेल्स आर कलेक्टेड फॉर डेकोरेशन स्विमिंग सूट स्विमिंग सूट मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज स्विमिंग सूट विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्विमिंग सूट इन हिंदी तैराकी के लिए स्विमिंग सूट होना जरूरी है स्विमिंग सूट इज अ मस्ट फॉर स्विमिंग महासागर ओशियन मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज महासागर महासागर विच मीन्स ओशियन शार्क मछली महासागर में तैर रही है शार्क आर स्विमिंग इन दी ओशियन महासागर ओशियन लाइफ गार्ड लाइफ गार्ड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज लाइफ गार्ड विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लाइफ गार्ड इन हिंदी लाइफ गार्ड समुद्र तट पर सुरक्षा के लिए तैनात है लाइफ गार्ड आर स्टेशन एट बीच for the protection of people life card in hindi life card in english jet ski is also known as jet ski our next word is jet ski which is again same in hindi jet ski samundra tat par manoranjan ki gatividhiyon mein se ek gatividhi hai jet ski out of many fun activities at beach jet ski is one of them So jet skiing in Hindi, jet skiing in English also. Samund tat tolia, beach towel. Samund tat tolia, which means a beach towel. Samund tat tolia. आपके पास एक समुंद तट तोलिया होना अनिवार्य है. Is it a must for you to have a beach towel? समुंद तट पर लगी कुर्सी, beach chair. A next word is samundra tat kursi which is a beach chair Mere paas khud ki ek samundra tat kursi hai I have my own beach chair Ice cream is also known as ice cream A next word is ice cream which is also known as ice cream in Hindi Mujhe ice cream khana bahut pasand hai I love eating ice cream रेत का महल सैन कासल नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज रेत का महल रेत का महल विच मीन्स सैन कासल बच्चों को रेत का महल बनाना बहुत पसंद है किड्स लाइक टू मेक सैन कासल रेत का महल सैन कासल ज्वार टाइट नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज ज्वार ज्वार विच मीन्स टाइट दोपहर के समय समुद्र में ज्वार रहता है इट इज हाई टाइम टाइम ड्यूरिंग आफ्टरनून इन दी ज्वार टाइम धूप से तपन टैन मूवी वन का नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज धूप से तपन धूप से तपन विच मीन्स टैन इन इंग्लिश उसे धूप का तपन बहुत पसंद है She likes getting tan in the sun. Snorkeling, snorkeling. A next word is snorkeling, which means snorkeling in Hindi too. Snorkeling is a very famous activity. Snorkeling is a very famous activity. Snorkeling in Hindi, snorkeling in English too. Chappal, flip flop. 
A next word is chappal. Chappal, which means flip flops. Garmiyon mein chappal kafi aram daik hoti hai. In summers, flip flops are very comfortable. So chappal, flip flops. Sunscreen is known as sunscreen in Hindi. Our next word is sunscreen, which is again sunscreen in Hindi also. Garmiyon mein sunscreen anivarya hai. Sunscreens are must in summers. So sunscreen in Hindi, sunscreen in English too. Samundra, sea. Our next word is samundra. Samundra, which means sea. Use samundra se bahut dar lagta hai. He is very afraid of sea. Samundra, sea. So that's all from this lesson. And these are the words which are most commonly used whenever you are going to a beach. I hope you learn all these words. I know most of the words are same in English as well as in Hindi. If you liked our video, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel which is Hindi Pod. And you can also leave your valuable comments, your feedbacks in the comments section. You can also visit our website which is hindipod101.com where you can find many more such lessons in Hindi. I'll be coming back with more Hindi lessons. Till then, stay tuned. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. What's up everyone? This is Anuj from Hindipod101. The easiest, smartest and the most fun way of learning Hindi online. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 10 phrases which will help you in Hindi case of an emergency. So let's begin. Jaldi se police ko bula. Call the police immediately. Jaldi se police ko bula. Jaldi se police ko bula. Call the police immediately. If you're in such sort of situation where you need the help of the police, you need to use this. Jaldi se police ko bula. क्या आपको बुखार है? Do you have a fever? Next phrase is क्या आपको बुखार है? क्या आपको बुखार है? Do you have a fever? बुखार is fever. So if you want to ask someone whether the person is sick, then you can ask this. क्या आपको बुखार है? मेरा पासपोर्ट गुम हो गया है. I have lost my passport. Ah, this can be a scary situation. Mera passport gum ho gaya hai. Mera passport gum ho gaya hai. I have lost my passport. I hope that this doesn't happen to you, but if you are in India and you have lost your password, then this will be the way to convey this to someone who doesn't understand your language. Mera passport gum ho gaya hai. I have lost my passport. Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch galat kha liya hai. I think I have eaten something bad. Okay, if you have a stomach upset by eating local food, then you can use this. Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch galat kha liya hai. Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch गलत खा लिया है। I think I have eaten something bad. Well, if your stomach is not adaptive to spicy food, oily food, this might happen to you when you are traveling to India. मुझे डॉक्टर की जरूरत है। I need a doctor. Another phrase is मुझे डॉक्टर की जरूरत है। मुझे डॉक्टर की जरूरत है। I need the help of a doctor. If you're sick or you need any kind of medication, you can use this phrase. मैं अपने होटल जाने का रास्ता भूल गया हूँ. I've lost the way to go back to my hotel. Okay, if you have lost the way to your hotel, then this is the way to convey it to someone else. मैं अपने होटल जाने का रास्ता भूल गया हूँ. मैं अपने होटल जाने का रास्ता भूल गया हूँ। I have lost the way to go back to my hotel. क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं? Can you help me? Another phrase is 
क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं कैन यू हेल्प मी इफ यू स्टक समवेयर एंड नीड सम हेल्प यू नीड टू से क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं मैं को गया हूं आई एम लॉस्ट इफ यू आर लॉस्ट देन दिस इज द फेस मैं खो गया हूं मैं खो गया हूं आई एम लॉस्ट सिंपल बट इट विल बी इफेक्टिव इफ यू आर लॉस्ट इन अ फॉरन कंट्री मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे चोट लग गई है आई हैव इंजर्ड माई सेल्फ नदर फेजेस मुझे चोट लग गई है मुझे चोट लग गई है आई हैव इंजर्ड माई सेल्फ If you have met an accident, unfortunately, or anything has happened to you, then you need to use this sentence. मुझे चोट लग गई है. Well, these were the phrases which you can use in case of an emergency. They will be helpful, but I wish you don't have to face any sort of situation where you need these phrases. That's all from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learn new phrases. If you have any sort of comments any suggestions please leave them in the comment section I'll be back with more such videos till then stay tuned take care of yourself goodbye namaste Want to speak real Hindi from your first lesson sign up for your free lifetime account at hindipod101.com Today traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the US Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule. Very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete. Can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over 6 hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work at home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So, instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. 
The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work, and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work, but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. In this series, we're going to learn basic Hindi expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Hindi. There are only two sentences you need to know. Namaste. Mera naam Prerna hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Hi. My name is Prerna. Nice to meet you. Start by saying Namaste. Then say Mera naam. Then your name. And then say Hey. Please repeat after me. Namaste. Mera Naam Prerna Hai Finally, say Aap Se Milkar Khushi Hui Together we have Namaste Mera Naam Prerna Hai Aap Se Milkar Khushi Hui Let's take a closer look at the first sentence. The first word is Namaste. Namaste in Hindi is equivalent to hello, which can be used at any time of the day. Next is Mera. The word Mera means my. This is a way to refer to yourself, which can be used by both men and women. Next, we have Naam. The word Naam means name. Then you say your name. And finally, we have Hai. Hai is attached to the end of the sentence and literally means to exist. In the first sentence, we have the construction Mera plus Naam plus your name plus Hai. The structure of simple Hindi sentences is different from English. In Hindi, the word order is subject, object, verb. The second sentence we have is Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui can be used by both men and women. It means nice to meet you. It's used when meeting someone for the first time. 
आप से मिलकर खुशी हुई आप से मिलकर खुशी हुई नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर प्रेरणा पॉइंट्स इंडियन पीपल डोंट जनरली शेक हैंड्स यू आर बेटर ऑफ यूजिंग द नमस्ते जेस्टर हाउ एवर इन अ बिजनेस सिचुएशन यू माइट वॉन्ट टू यूज अ हैंड शेक शेकिंग हैंड्स इज मोर कॉमन इन बिग सिटीज वे वेस्टर्न कस्टम्स आर मोर फेमिलियर इन द लास्ट लेसन वी लर्न हाउ टू इंट्रोड्यूस आर सेल्स इन हिंदी इन दिस लेसन वी गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज गुड मैनर्स वेन वी थैंक पीपल क्या आप तैयार हैं आर यू रेडी तो चलिए शुरू करें सो लेट्स बिग इन देर आर सेवल वेज टू थैंक सम वन बट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द ईजिएस्ट इज जस्ट वन वर्ड धन्यवाद 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 मीन्स थैंक यू यू कैन एम्फोसाइज धन्यवाद बाई एडिंग बहुत विच मीन्स वेरी मच सो इट बिकम्स बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत धन्यवाद इन हिंदी देर आर अदर वेज टू एक्सप्रेस वंस ग्रैटिट्यूड धन्यवाद कम्स फ्रॉम संस्कृत एंड इट साउंड क्वाइट फॉर्मल दैट्स वाई सम पीपल प्रिफर टू यूज उर्दू एक्सप्रेशन विच आर फेल टू बी मोर कलोकियल अ मोर कलोकियल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर थैंक यू इन हिंदी इज शुक्रिया शुक्रिया कैन ऑल्सो बी प्रिसीडेड बाय बहुत विच मीन्स वेरी मच बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत शुक्रिया So now you have learned how to say thank you in Hindi but how will you reply if someone else says thank you to you in Hindi your welcome is sometimes expressed as swagat hai the expression swagat hai means welcome swagat hai you can also respond to someone who has thanked you by using another expression this is koi baat nahi which literally means it's nothing koi baat nahi so when someone says dhanyawad to you you can simply reply with swagat hai or koi baat nahi now it's time for prerna's points just as with the expressions for thank you and please indians do not always use you welcome in everyday situations it's a concept literally translated from english native speakers often show politeness simply by using polite pronouns and verb forms while speaking in the last lesson we learned how to show gratitude to people by saying dhanyawad in this lesson we learn some of the most common greetings used in india kya aap taiyar hain are you ready to chaliye shuru kare so let's begin let's start with a greeting you are sure to have heard before namaste this is a word that is so closely associated with india and indian culture that it has become famous all over the world Now must they Namaste The word namaste is made out of two Sanskrit words nama and te which have been joined to mean I salute you We use namaste as a formal as well as a friendly greeting It's used when people meet at any time of the day morning noon or evening A slightly more formal variation on namaste which you may or may not have heard before is namaskar Now must car use this and you'll surely impress your indian friends in hindi using different greetings for each time of the day is not very common when talking with friends we usually just use the english phrases but there are equivalent hindi versions they are just not used that often if you meet someone before noon you can say suprabhat suprabhat for later in the day you can say shubh sandhya shubh sandhya but for most of the time you can just say namaste and not worry about it as we learn in this lesson namaste can mean both hello and goodbye however this is not the only way of saying goodbye in hindi a parting expression that we can use for all occasions is fir milenge which means see you fir milenge fir milenge The first word fir means again and the second word milenge means we will meet. Let's look at one more expression. Alvida. Alvida is an Urdu word which means goodbye. Alvida. It is an appropriate choice when parting for a long time. Now, it's time for Prerna's points. The easiest way of saying your goodbyes in Hindi is by using namaste. 
take a slight bow with folded hands and say namaste namaste and namaskar both come from sanskrit and mean something like i honor you or i bow to you in the last lesson we learned the most common forms of greeting in hindi do you remember them in this lesson we are going to learn a very useful phrase do you speak english if you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in english this phrase can be a life saver and because you are asking it in hindi you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying even if their answer is no let's start with a formal expression first though we need to make a note that in hindi verbs change depending on the number and gender of the noun so when asking a man if he speaks english you would say kya aap angrezi bolte hain kya aap angrezi bolte hain but to ask a woman if she speaks english you would say kya aap angrezi bolti hain kya aap angrezi bolti hain Let's have a closer look at this sentence by breaking it down. Kya Kya is a question marker which comes at the beginning of the sentence. Next is aap. Aap means you. This is the respectful word for you and is used in formal situations. You should always use it with people you don't know or with elders. Next we have angrezi. Angrezi means English. Next is bolte bolte means to speak it is used when the subject is masculine we use bolti when the subject is feminine and finally hai hai is the sentence ending particle used with a formal u once more for man it's kya aap angrezi bolte hain kya aap angrezi bolte hain and for women kya aap अंग्रेजी बोलती हैं क्या आप अंग्रेजी बोलती हैं वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू मेक द सेंटेंस इनफॉर्मल फर्स्ट वी नीड टू यूज द इनफॉर्मल वर्जन ऑफ यू व्हिच इज तुम इफ यू चेंज द वर्ड फॉर यू वी विल आल्सो चेंज द सेंटेंस एंडिंग पार्टिकल टू हो एवरीथिंग एल्स स्टेज द सेम व्हेन स्पीकिंग टू यंगर पीपल इट्स एक्सेप्टेबल टू यूज द इनफॉर्मल फॉर्म इन व्हिच केस यू विल से kya tum angrezi bolte ho to ask a young man or a boy or kya tum angrezi bolti ho to ask a young woman or a girl again for a boy kya tum angrezi bolte ho and for a girl kya tum angrezi bolti ho the responses you will receive could be one of these three ha yes ha thodi bahut a little थोड़ी बहुत नहीं नो आई डोंट नहीं नाउ लेट्स रिव्यू वन मोर टाइम टू आस्क अ मैन इन अ फॉर्मल सिचुएशन इफ ही नोज इंग्लिश व्यूर से क्या आप अंग्रेजी बोलते हैं टू आस्क अ वुमेन इन अ फॉर्मल सिचुएशन इफ शी नोज इंग्लिश व्यूर से क्या आप अंग्रेजी बोलती हैं टू आस्क अ मैन इन एन इनफॉर्मल सिचुएशन इफ ही नोज इंग्लिश We would say, "Kya tum Angrezi bolte ho?" To ask a woman in an informal situation if she knows English, we would say, "Kya tum Angrezi bolti ho?" Now it's time for Prerna's points. India was once, for a long time, part of the British Empire, and so today, English is one of the national languages of India. When visiting tourist areas, you are sure to meet many people who can communicate with you in English. Still. a large part of the population can't understand english and you can never go wrong if you learn the local language in this lesson we are going to learn how to apologize in hindi there are a number of ways to apologize but in a formal situation you should use maaf kijiye maaf kijiye the first word maaf literally means forgive and kijiye is a polite form of the verb meaning please do thus this expression actually means something like forgive me please now let's hear it again maaf kijiye you use maaf kijiye when you might have said or done something offensive wrong or embarrassing sometimes you'll also hear people say kshama kijiye 
Shama kijiye. This means please excuse me or I am sorry. In Hindi, we have many synonyms for a single expression, usually a more colloquial Urdu form and a Sanskrit form, which is used in more formal situations. This is the case with I am sorry as well. Maaf kijiye is the Urdu form and the corresponding Sanskrit form in Hindi is Shama kijiye. The informal way to say I am sorry is maaf karo. Maaf karo. Similarly, we could also say shama karo. Shama karo. Let's review. Maaf kijiye or shama kijiye is a formal I am sorry or excuse me. Maaf karo or shama karo is the informal I am sorry or excuse me. These are all versatile phrases with a few different meanings depending on the situation. Whether you are trying to get someone's attention for a question or making your way through a crowded area or apologizing for stepping on someone's foot, these are all phrases you could use. Now, what if someone says maaf kijiye or shama kijiye to you after having done something wrong? How would you respond? In this case, you could say Koi baat nahi. Koi baat nahi. This means something like it doesn't matter. Koi baat nahi. Now it's time for Prerna's points. If someone bumps into you on the streets in India, don't expect an excuse me, especially in the big cities. Big crowds are very common and so is bumping into each other. Indians are usually very friendly people. But this does not seem like something worthy of an apology. Unless someone pushes you over so hard, you fall on the ground, keep walking. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.